What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Stuffed Animals mod, and what this mod does is it adds a stuffed animal version of every single mob within Minecraft. So it's just a scaled down size of each of the um, mobs, and they're actually very nice um, when it comes to how they look, and they look pretty much exactly the same, just a smaller version. And of course, they don't move or anything like that. So you can see I have a present in my hand. If I go ahead and right click with this in my hand, it has all these stuffed animals. So we have a chicken, we have a sheep, mushroom cow, ocelot, pig, uh, sheep. Did I already say sheep? I meant cow, I think. Uh, then we have a squid, a villager, an enderman, wolf, uh, zombie pigman, a blaze, cave spider, creeper, Ghast, Magma Cube, Silverfish, Skeleton, Slime, Spider, Zombie, Snow Golem, Iron Golem, um, Ender Dragon, and then of course a Steve. So now that I have all these, let me go ahead and just start placing them around. So let me know, this mod is just for aesthetics only. I mean, I guess if like you're really bored or something like that, then... Um, this will be something cool to mess around with or if you're you know if you're really lonely in Minecraft if you're forever alone in Minecraft these guys will help you out so you can see whatever way I place them down um, whatever way I'm facing so if I face diagonal this way this ocelot will face directly towards me so you can position them pretty much however you want you can just have a whole bunch of little friends here we go ahead and bring down some more Just make them go in a huge circle around me. These spiders look really cool, in my opinion. Then we have the creeper, the gas. The gas also looks awesome. The magma cube, a silverfish. Oh wait, hold shift. There we go. Okay, almost done here. Then we have the enderman. So it's just an aesthetic mod, as I said, but it's really neat. I think it's awesome. Did a normal spider, zombie, snow golem, iron golem, and then I'll toss the dragon in the middle here. So there we go. That's what the dragon looks like. That thing's awesome. And then last but not least, we'll put a little Steve right in front of the dragon like he's about to battle him. Let me see. Can I hop up on top of this dragon? No, I cannot. There we go. So, everybody's watched. They're circling in Steve and the dragon. They're about to watch him throw down. So, this is what all, they all look like. So, they all look pretty cool. Exactly the way they the real mobs do. Just, again, a little bit smaller. And then, of course, if you want to take them out, you just hit it one time, and it's like they die, and then you pick it back up again. So, that is the Stuffed Animals mod. So, I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back, and I will show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then, you're going to need to download Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, and the client files for the Stuffed Animals mod itself. So to get these three files, I'll go ahead and give a link to these three pages in the description. So first off, for the Stuffed Animals, if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see I have a table of contents here with the recipes and all that sort of stuff. And uh, here's all the animals. So we have your passive animals, your neutral animals, your hostile animals, your utility animals, and then the boss animal. And then the other animals is just Steve. And we have a few videos, but if you keep scrolling down, we have the recipe. Um, it doesn't give you individual recipes for each animal, simply because within the present, you get all the animals, so that's all you really need to craft. So here's a crafting recipe for the present. If we go ahead and keep, keep scrolling down to the downloads, there are installers for this mod, but I will not be showing you how to use that, since that's just pretty much self-explanatory. Um, so I'll be showing you how to do the manual files, and the manual files tend to be a little bit more reliable on actually working. So if you go ahead and click on the client files under manual files, it'll take it over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod. 
So that is how to download stuffed animals. And now for a mod letter, if we go ahead and come over to Rezagami's mods, scroll down until you see mod letter 1.2.5. You can either download from AdFly or direct. Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. Now to download Minecraft Forge, if we come over to Jenkins Project Forge and come down to the permalinks and just download the last build, which would be the very first link right here. And then come down to the build artifacts and you want to make sure you're downloading the client version of Project Forge. So again, the very first link right here. And this will take us over to Mediafire and again, you just click on download to download the mod. So that is how to download everything that you'll need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install the mod, go and come over to start. Type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you're going to need your bin open later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader. Highlight all these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar. Hit OK and go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up Minecraft Forge and you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar as well. And the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold Control then hit A. And that'll highlight everything and you want to drag this into your Minecraft jar. Hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called Metainf. If you do not have this folder that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do have it what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes, and that will delete Metainf. You want to make sure you're always deleting, deleting Metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete Metainf, you're going to close your Minecraft jar, and you should have min minimized your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up, and hit back so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder, so if you do not have one already, you will need to create one. And to do that, you want to simply right click within the .minecraft folder, select new, and then select folder. And that will create a new folder, and you want to rename this folder mods, so just M-O-D-S, just like that. So there's our mods folder. Go ahead and open up the mods folder. Now open up the client files from the um, stuffed animals mod. Now take the stuffedanimals.zip file and simply drag it into your mods folder. Now you can go to close both these down and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.